What's up guys, it's the Cupcake Man, and today we are doing some Minecraft, and I'm going to be showing you how to improve your village and different designs that you can do inside your village to make it look a lot better and a lot cooler. Not saying it looks bad, but it's going to look a lot cooler after you do these, these certain things. So, um, I'll be back and I will show you. Okay, what's up? We are back, and we are here with Fred and Steve. Not really, they're just people. And you can do this by putting armor stand, or making an armor stand, and then putting armor, or yeah, the armor, whatever armor you want. You can put iron armor, leather armor, and for here, I put leather armor. And then I put a head on top of here. It looks really nice, and it's pretty cool. And so, the name of this place is called Cedar Hold. I just named it that, and explore and enjoy. And hopefully I can make this a server one day, or make, like, you know, more houses and stuff. And you guys can come on here and visit. So here is the whole city thing that I have so far. And it's probably going to be the thumbnail, right? Right here, and it looks really nice. But, okay, so let's, let's go. And so here, the first thing we have is a farm. You can add farms wherever you want, wherever you have an open space and enough space to make it. And so adding potatoes and carrots like that, you can see the green and it looks really nice. That's a really nice color green. If you have shaders on and you have wheat, it flows in the wind and it looks really nice. It's a really cool touch, especially when you're like over here and you see it like moving a little bit. It looks really nice. And also in the water in here, it moves too, so it looks really cool if you have shaders on. And so yeah, so I have shaders on, of course. And it might be a little laggy, so I'm sorry about that sorry about that next thing is little flower beds over here you can add wooden pressure plates around them and it's like so like I did here and then you can put your flowers in the middle and it looks really nice instead of having a fence you, you can just have this the fence is really bulky can go over in there and you know look at the flowers and stuff like that touch the flowers play with the butterflies you can't do that when you have a fence so you add that really good over here we have another one same thing and so yeah here's a house and so one of these things, across the street, you can add these little banner things, or I added stained glass, and I put it across here, and it looks really nice because you can uh, put the, yeah, the stained glass, and it looks like if you're like you're having a festival or something like that. So like, look at that. So it looks like, you know, oh, what's going on? It looks really festive and colorful and stuff, and it adds color, and a lot of color it looks really nice. And this looks like a, like a springtime map. Look at this. Really nice with all that color. And yeah, so really good to add that. And so the next thing is to have a type of like color to, for your village. It looks really nice. So here I added blue. As you can see here on the window window seals or the uh, window side things, I added blue banners. And we are on 1.8 point something. I don't know. There's so many updates. Can't even keep track. But we have all these little window things. And let me get rid of that. That's supposed to be right there. But you have that on the side. It looks really nice. You might want to add a different one there because red and blue, they don't really match too good. But yeah, so it's really good to have a like a certain color for your village. It looks really nice. Here on these houses, underneath the houses, I added basements. And they look really nice. And uh, you got to do that before you build your house, of course. Build the basement and then build up from there. How you're going to build your house regularly. And yeah, so it looks really nice and have little staircase, or not staircase, but you know, stairs going up. And you have a little front porch. You can put some stuff up here, sit up here, you know, drink your coffee, you know, whatever you want to do. You got that. Same thing with here. This is a smaller one. Not really a porch area, but you know, little steps going up here. Uh, the next thing is these little clothes hanger or clothes rack that you can dry your clothes. In the medieval days, they, they didn't have drying machines and stuff like that, so they had to dry it from the sun. So the sun is just blazing down on these clothes and drying them. And you can add different colored colored clothes or whatever, leather, and uh, it looks really nice. So I could add green and put it up there, or blue, whatever you want to do. Oh, that rhyme. I'm, I'm, I'm Dr. Seuss. Dang. No. But we have the little tiles down here. Look really nice. Good for the roads. Really cool. And here's another thing. So if you're uh, you want to have a shop, so let's say this place is a shop and you're selling swords. So you can put two fence the fences over two and then place a block, you know, wooden block there. Place your item frames and then place whatever you're selling. So here we're placing or we're selling swords. So that place is going to be a uh, a sword place. So we're gonna have that up there. And so when you're walking down the street, you're like, oh, I need to buy some buy some weapons. I need to buy some weapons. Oh, there's a sword place. Let me go over there. You know, let me go over here, buy some weapons, and you're off on your day. And it looks really nice. Another thing over here is little porches. Like earlier, here's a little. 
I think, yeah, I guess porch on the second floor of the house. So let me go through here. And let me, let me go, so let me show you. So yeah, another place to drink your coffee. And up here, I added little stairs, or not stairs, what am I talking about? Fences. You put fences up there, and you can put bushes on top, like I did right over here. And it looks kind of like an Italian kind of villa area. Looks really nice. And also up here, I did two cobblestone fences, and then I placed a block of wood, whatever you want to say put that there and it looks really nice you can put a flower pot on there and all my flowers got erased so I don't know what happened but you can put some on there let me see uh, that right there looks really nice uh, so what else do we have oh, over here so you can add just like random storage container areas with chests and everything and so this place is by the dock so you're gonna have storage areas everywhere you wanna have that like a lot of places and stuff because they're gonna have to load up their ships and go and they don't wanna be traveling across the city to go pick up something take it back and go over there so if you're by a dock if you make a dock by water you can do that and another thing over here I added hay just random hay stuff just add some detail and just random stuff over here and it is raining, so uh, let me uh, uh, let me put this on. Is that good? Is it clearing up? Oh. Uh, let me. Yay! Yay! Okay, it's nice. Okay, so yeah, we right over here adding open window seals looks really nice or open windows like I have here so you, you know you just have a place like that and then you place one out like that and it you could you could close it normally and it looks really nice it looks like you could do that actually like open and close it looks really nice add a little flower pot in there another thing is adding bushes right outside your windows instead of adding a little window seal you can just have that it looks really nice okay so here is a little covering area looks really nice you can sell stuff from here and if you have a blacksmith place that's really cool to have that because you can have your anvil there and you can have like a furnace going up here and it looks really nice that way um, let me show you another cover thing that I added to so over here you can get string underneath here you might be able to see that it's really really small put that down there and then you can put carpet over and, and that looks really really cool too and yeah, so that's that's a little deck area over here. And so yeah, here's a tile area over here. And let me go this way. And so over here, I have the water. There's a little water area. And it goes down and it goes all the way over here. And it kind of like drains the water out of the city. It looks really cool because it, it looks like it just goes into the sewer system and everything. And I added randomization over here. So I added a little bit of mossy, mossy stone or whatever. I think that's what it's called. Put that over there and it looks... You know, it looks really cool. Over here, crack stone. That looks really awesome, too. I need to add some fences over here. Because they could just, you know, fall in here. No. You know, be really bad. You got some flowers over here. And so, yeah, this looks really nice. This view looks really nice. Look at that. Wow. So, what else did I show you? Uh, adding a little lamppost over here. You can do different types of lampposts. Since we have the, the sea stuff what is called the sea lantern you could add that if you wanted to you could get glowstone over here some jack-o-lanterns that look really cool and you can add torches too like here I did chisel stone and then I put the torches there that looks really nice so what else do we have over here another deck up here and oh another thing if you have like kinda like a more modern thing you could have solar panels up here and you can get you know energies it looks like it looks like solar panels but it, I think it's a daylight sensor yep but it looks like solar panels, so I use that over here you can have like a little deck area on top of your house so I had like a little area where two arcs met it's kinda like that and I didn't do the back side of this house but there's there's arcs two arcs meet so I was like hey let me make a little place where people can sit up here looks really nice look at that look at that view right there it looks awesome And let's see. Let's see what else we've got. I think that's it. I really think that's it. Uh, yeah, so if, if you guys know anything, anything else that I did not cover or things you want to see inside of a village, I can I can record that and I can show you guys if you want. So, yeah, it's su suggest whatever you want to in the comments down below, and I will respond to you as soon as possible. 
and here is the uh, the village at the end and I'm gonna ex expand this a lot later or not a lot later but I'm gonna expand this and it's gonna be pretty big hopefully and I will I will get back to you guys on that and I'll record it again too and it's gonna look really nice so yeah so comment down below what you guys think comment what you guys think I missed too and if you want me to build one of these houses one of these medieval houses then I, I will if you want and check out some of my tutorials they should be one of my first videos so check some of those out they're uh, they, they'll help you out a lot and um, thank you for watching please check out my some of my friends channels their links will be in the description and please like subscribe and if you didn't like this video please like it please like it because it really helps it really helps even if you didn't like it so thank you for watching and until next time bye bye